testing, testing. I guess I'm on YouTube now. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my page. If you are new here, my name is Stephanie. I am also new here. I have been going room by room in my house, redesigning it on a budget, using no power tools and including renter friendly projects in every single one of my designs over on TikTok and Instagram. I am super excited to have finally built up the courage to be here with y'all today and get started on our first project together, which is going to be transforming mirrored closet doors, renter friendly style. I almost couldn't say that all at once, but let's go. All I am using for this project is decor tape by Duck, peel and stick wallpaper by Roommates, and scissors. These mirrors have been sitting on the side of the house, so I needed to clean them really good with Windex. They were absolutely nasty. Check out just how nasty they were. Anyways, moving on, they are clean now, so I can put the tape on. I wanted mine gold, but the cool thing is, is that this type of tape comes in all sorts of colors and patterns, so have fun with it. It is incredibly easy to work Work with I prefer using my hands rather than a tool to work into all of the weird spots that this mirror has and it turned out beautifully now that the mirror is officially gold we can start wallpapering the first mirror I did on TikTok um, did not go so well so one of my followers suggested that I do what's called a wet method I have used this to install contact paper and basically what it is is you use Windex to position the paper and then to get the bubbles out. But honestly, this was not helping me at all in this moment. So I just went back to the traditional way of working out the bubbles with the wallpaper tool. This panel was easy, but the next panel is where it gets tricky. This paper is a direct match, so no overlap. I find it easiest to line up the paper and then trim it beforehand. And this pattern made it incredibly easy to do the trimming. So I just basically cut down the line of the pattern. And so once it was sized, you can start lining up the direct match. And I am used to doing walls. So visually, I stood over the mirror to get the seam lined up. And I am not going to bore you with that, but just know it is not easy to do. You will have bubbles, so you will have to smooth them out. And it took me about two hours to do the tape and peel and stick on the mirror. Um, I am kind of obsessed. The doors are now in its home in our primary bathroom but there's one more thing to do and that is to put the handles on the doors to jazz them up just a little bit and what i'm using are these peel and stick handles that i was able to find on amazon that can go on cabinets and in this purpose we're putting it on these doors let me just say that I love things when they make my life easy, and these definitely made my life easy. I put them as close to the edge on the door, so when I opened the door, it was still functioning, and no issues, because I hate fumbling, opening, and closing these doors, so this was a perfect solution for me. I apparently uh, cannot keep the camera straight, but these doors are exactly the vibe that I wanted. Now, you might be thinking, Stephanie, those mirrors do not match that bathroom's aesthetic right now, and I have to agree with you on that. They do not, but the good news is, is that uh, we just got started on this $540 bathroom transformation, and this was just the very first project in here. I am super excited about how they turned out, and I cannot wait to share with you the rest of the projects that I have planned in here, so make sure that you subscribe so you can follow along on this room-by-room -room journey with me.